What's up, YouTube? Today we're looking at a pair of brass knuckles. I don't know if they're brass, though. Also, hopefully, hopefully this is allowed on YouTube. Um, I'll let you know, I've already got a bunch of them on there, but I'm always like, Ooh, every time I do it. These are from East Coast Knuckles. If you want to get a hold of this gentleman or lady, maybe they're non-binary, but I sort of doubt it. Um, they got a Facebook. They have an Insta. You can reach them at. Um, so there you go. We are going to get some weights. We are going to do those things that people do. You can't see what it says, but I can, so it's okay. Five point seven. We're gonna weigh the other ones. Seven ounces, and then this is gonna be point nine and non-ferrous. So let's take a look at their. So these holes are called the finger stalls. As you can see, these are very similar. So I have large hands. Um, I bust out gloves. I also insist on getting the smallest gloves that fit me because that's what you should be doing. I used to ride a motorcycle, so if you if you ever have or you're knowledgeable about such things, when you go flailing in an accident, your shoes come off or they can if they're not laced down tight. Your gloves can come off. Your helmet can come off. So I've always just kept that in mind. Um, so I would assume that these are actual brass because they're real heavy. But this is maybe nickel. I don't know. So, you know, I can't really speak to that, but that's what I would assume. Let's find out. That's non-ferrous. All of these are non-ferrous. So, meaning, so why is a bouncer you really going to be on your toes? But you can bring these past the metal detector. Um, no problem. These, the finger stalls are a little smaller, but uh, if you were to hit somebody with this, I mean, it would really hurt, but I don't think it would do the same amount of damage that this might. Just because this is like a crazy weapon. Um, I guess I should say, definitely don't ever hit anybody with these. Um, and let, I mean, these are lethal force, basically. There's no other way around it. Um, even this, the law will look at this as lethal force. I mean, brass knuckles are pretty distinct looking. They're not gonna... This is a little small, a little smaller. Um, these I got these from Brass Armadillo when I was 15. So, let you know, some people really don't think about the ethical implications when they're selling literal children for <laughs> brass knuckles. And uh, so I think these were like 30. I think this was like 20-some. And then this was 40, shipping included. Came real fast, I'm assuming 30, and then shipping. Um, these are a lot nicer looking. You can tell that there's a lot more attention to detail. Uh, they have a little maker's mark right there. Um, where I am currently at, with a concealed carry permit, you can carry brass knuckles. So, and I think it's like that in more places than people believe. Uh, before people get in the comments and like, you can't carry these anywhere. You can carry them in Texas without anything. Um, in a lot of states, having a concealed carry permit broadens your horizons as far as weapons you can carry. Also, you can carry them regardless of the law if you so choose. And if you get caught, you'll probably be in some trouble. But Yeah, pretty nice. These are nice. These are nice. Let me see. 
the back of the brace, if that's what it's called, a little bit smaller than that. You know, I don't have a big collection of knuckles, so, you know, this, this is really it. I have three of them. And these are nice. These are pretty nice. I like these a lot. So, you know where to go. Um, before you don't, don't use these on a, a bag at a gym. You'll get kicked out of the gym. Uh, but I would, maybe a tree, maybe something in your place that is not important at all. Give it a couple good punches just so you know, you know, you kind of like get the feel of it, but also, you know, in your mind, like this will absolutely destroy somebody. Excuse me. Anyway, thanks for sticking with me to the end. That's all she wrote for this one. Hope you folks have a great rest of your day. Bye now. Oh, by the way, you can get these in patina and in high polish. I chose high polish. No regrets. These look great.